What is up guys, my name is Oliver and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new around here, don't forget to click that subscribe button and that like little bell notification sort of thing so you guys don't miss an upload because YouTube isn't wanting to show my uploads to everyone. So make sure you do that and um, stick around. If we get this video to 100 likes, we'll do a giveaway. I've already got one giveaway planned. I did a giveaway on my Snapchat last night and uh, let's do an another giveaway. Like yesterday I gave away a Chromecast just because. So if you want to have the chance to be entered into something like that, then, well, join the channel. Jo 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 join the, uh, we don't have a squad name. We don't have a squad name, no. But anyway, this video is about van life, and it's about why I'm leaving van life. But it's not just about van life, I kind of want to talk a little bit about possible future ideas for the channel. Kind of want to brief you guys on some things that's been going on in my life. As well as that, I stupidly said in another video that if this video hits 50 likes, I will dye my hair, and, um, well, I guess we're dyeing my hair, because it got over 100 likes, and, uh, we're not 100% sure on what colour we're going. We're only going one colour, guys, I've seen, like, people doing, like, rainbow and stuff, unfortunately I can't afford that. We're dyeing my hair for charity, we'll be doing it this month, okay? So, guys, let me know what colour do you want my hair to go, leave it in the comments below, and we'll go through them and, uh, yeah, I'll have a Just Giving page linked with the live stream when I live stream me dye my hair. So any donations you want to make to the chosen charity that I've chosen, then that'll be absolutely great. But yes, guys, without further ado, let's get into the video. And where do we start with this video? I guess let's start with the headroom, you know? We don't have any headroom. This is a wall. That's a wall. This van isn't big. And if you guys are like, actually, Oliver, it looks pretty big behind you. Uh, let me just show you how I'm sitting, okay? So, like, this is the headrest of the front seat. And um, I'm, I'm kind of, like, squished, like, right down here just to get a good angle. And then you, like, ba balance my battery pack um, in, like, this shelf thing in the van. There also isn't a lot of space going back, just to show you guys. Um, that's my mattress here. Actually, not on a section of mattress here. That's my pillow, and uh, that's the back door. And uh, that's the back door. So, yeah, not even enough space to like lie down completely flat, which isn't the best. And that's one of the reasons why I'm leaving van life. Other reasons why I have chosen to leave van life is, well, space. There's no window in the side, so we're not under a uh, camper van insurance. So, in insurance is very expensive. I'm 19 years old and it's very expensive to insure anything in England. As well as that, the price of diesel is just shooting up and up. Actually, it's gone down a bit, but it's going up. Like, it, I'll give you an example. So in America, some places two to four dollars per US gallon of petroleum or diesel. Unfortunately, in England, we could be paying that for one litre. So, yeah, very expensive to drive over here as it is. And then we got road tax. MOTs, maintenance, and uh, just all this stuff that it's a bit annoying. I just don't like driving the vehicle I live in because there's so many times I've slid out of bed and got into the driver's seat. Or I've just got out and I've had to go for a walk because I need a stretch because I don't have any standing space in this van. And that's one thing. I don't have any standing space in this van. I would genuinely love a caravan. I've been looking at getting a caravan probably since November time now. Getting a caravan is a good idea because it means I don't have to be towed up all the time, I can go for a drive, I'm not sleeping in my vehicle, I'm not always stuck with my house, I can have a bathroom, which is a big thing for me. There's only so many times you can sneak into a swimming pool for a shower. There's only so many times that you can go to a 24-hour Tesco's to use a toilet. There's only so much you can do with a space like this and I understand people have spaces like this and people make it work with more than one of them and that's fair enough, that's good for you. I'm 19 years old and I feel like I need a bit more flexibility and yeah, this is a lot of flexibility. I can shoot off to Cornwall for a Cornish pasty. I have done that. So, why am I complaining? Well, I'm not really enjoying it. I'm enjoying it to an extent but I'm also not enjoying it. It's very cold in here at nights. I don't really feel the cold, it's just this bit of the nose. So I get the sleeping bag and I cover my nose and then it stops me breathing. And yeah, I just have a lot of issues with this van. I probably chose the wrong van in the first place and this is why I'm just moaning. So I apologise for that. We will get back onto uh, van life, I just want to tell you guys a bit 
more what's been happening in my life just to get closer to you guys. So yesterday, I had my first ever blood test. I had a needle go through my arm here into a vein and that scared the hijibas out of me. And I had that because I'm having my iron levels tested for hemochromatosis. Now if you don't know what hemochromatosis is, as far as I'm aware, your body absorbs too much iron. It can give you heart issues, kidney issues, liver issues, you get pains in your joints, and you can overall have an iron overload and die. Yeah. And thanks to the uh, unsponsored mention of 23andMe, I paid for the health pack, and I found out that I have a few things in my genetics. Uh, unfortunately, I can't stop two of them. I have three things in my genetics, which they found. I can't stop two of them, so that's just something I have to live with. But hemochromatosis came up, and I've been tested for it. Because I could just be overreacting, and it could just be that I'm a carrier for hemochromatosis. But if I can help prevent something that's going to happen to me in the future now, then I want to do that now. As well as that, I worry my siblings may also have it, or I can pass it on to my children, and yeah, that that does worry me. But I mean, it's not the end of the world, I guess. It's, it's just something that I chose to do. I, I do family history stuff, and I've done an Ancestry.com DNA test, which I'll be getting the results back in in two weeks. As well as that, I've done a 23andMe DNA test um, and they had the health pack option and I chose to do it and I can't stop a couple of them There's just like they're not the worst thing in the world it's like I mean, nothing nothing contagious in my genetics luckily it's just something that I've got that my great great uncle Bill has um, and when I last saw him I saw how that affected him so I have age related macular degeneration which means I will lose my eyesight uh, I won't lose my eyesight today Luckily, it doesn't help that I don't have 100% eyesight in this eye already, thanks to my sister. And I already wear glasses, but it's just nice to know that when I'm around 60 years old, I'm going to lose my eyesight. Well, my eyesight's just going to deteriorate a lot more. So, my Uncle Bill is about 95, 96 years old. And from what I know, he doesn't have a lot of eyesight left. And yes, He's old, I know a lot of people don't have their eyesight anyway when they're old. It's, it's just nice to know that I will be losing my eyesight. Yay. I don't worry about me in this sort of stuff. I worry about my siblings, because they don't care as much as me. I tried telling my sister about m my hemochromatosis and my blood test, and she was just like, well, if I die, I die. And it's like, no, because it's severe. It, it can get you really badly, and, you know, I don't want my family to be affected. So I've already told one of my cousins who's passed it on to my uncle and she said she'd pass it on to her sister as well. Just so that they know it's in the genetics. I guess that's a bit about me. Um, I hope you guys are doing well, I guess. Sorry if that put it down on the video. Um, I haven't really had anyone to talk to about my hemochromatosis. I'm, I'm, I'm probably just overreacting anyway. The doctor told me I needed to get the blood test done. So I got the blood test done the next day. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to just get on with life. Anyway, back to van life. In this van, I've actually still got, like, loads of wood and stuff, and, like, wood here, and, um, just wood everywhere, pretty much. You know, I'm not talking about the walls and stuff, I'm just talking about building materials. I've got building materials everywhere. Like, I've even got, like, in, like massive bits of insulation down there and stuff. And it was to work on this van, but I do feel going to caravan is a better idea. Guys, I'd love your suggestions as well. What would be the best thing to do? Would sticking within the van life be better? Like, I'm not gonna keep this van, I've made that choice. It's just, would staying in the van life be better and just getting a bigger van? Well, possibly a camper van, maybe like a Bedford Rascal or something? Or would going to a caravan be a better solution for me? Now, I'm not 100% with everything myself. I do have a few van lifers, alternative living lifestyle people watch my channel, so I would love to hear your guys' opinion on it. Like, what would you do in my situation? Like, I'm getting rid of this van, it's too small. Um, but as a, uh, I'm a single male, so I don't have to worry about anyone else. But I would like the option to, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's just like, would you go and stay in a van? 
or would you go to a caravan? A caravan is bigger, a caravan has a bathroom, a caravan's already insulated, we can make a caravan more ours, and there's like bigger spaces to do videos and things like that. Or, would you just get another van? Like, the vans are thinner, but they can be longer. We can have a raised bed. Um, bathroom is optional, and they are a bit more stealthy. But, they're a lot more expensive on the insurance for a 19 year old than a car would be to tow. You see, that's where it lies. It's, unfortunately, life's about money and it's all about bloody money at this point. Would you rather pay, oh, I don't know, £300 a month for a bigger van on insurance? Or would you rather pay 60 to 70 quid on insurance on a car, but your caravan separate? I.e. technically could be stolen, but there's more space. It, it, it's a mind-boggling decision I'm trying to make, and I'm hoping you guys can definitely help me pick what is the best decision for my situation. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end this video here. Um, I'm only going to end it here because I wanted to, I wanted to talk about the future of videos on this channel, and I said that March was going to be the month, but I've been doing filming in March for videos for May. I've already got videos for April sorted. It's like my brains. I I I've I've, I've done a lot of stuff off camera this year. Is all I can say. Uh, I'm really excited with when it gets released over April and May time. So it's just about seeing. It's just about them getting out. And yeah, I just hope you guys can enjoy the videos and definitely stick around. Don't forget, guys, if you want to be in a giveaway, then make sure you're subscribed and follow my social medias. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I shall see you guys all in my next video, which will be up, hopefully, very, very soon. Brexit or Brexit not related, I don't know. I don't even know what the state of this country is. I just thought I'd mention it because I've seen a lot of Brexit videos recently. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead to Costa and uh, edit this video and try to get out tonight. Adios. Bye. What she yelling for? Lay back, it's all been done before. And if you could only let it be, you would see. I like you the way you are when we're driving in your car and you're talking to me one on one. But you become somebody else, grab everyone else. You're watching your back like you can't relax. You're trying to be cool, you look like a fool to me.